Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmos Astro Photography. If you're a regular or new to the channel, either way, thank you very much for stopping by. So, I'm just packing my car here. And shortly, I am going to take about an hour drive to a lovely little spot I've been to before. It's about two months overdue, to be honest, due to the constant uh, bad weather and clouds. I just haven't really seen the point in it. And to be honest, the weather ain't looking great from my backyard either. But where I'm going, uh, it looks to be quite a fabulous clean out from nine o'clock onwards. Uh, that's at least well, what all the weather apps seem to agree on. And if all the weather apps are agreeing on the same thing, then it must be true. Eh? So I'm going to finish packing my car. Please feel free to join me as I go up to Cow Green Reservoir in the, uh, the High Force Waterfall in the Middleton Teasdale area, where I'm going to attempt to capture a nice Milky Way shot. Ooh. Let's hope it all goes uh, to plan, eh? love this place and this one here does as well by the looks of it this is honey by the way she's a worker cock spaniel and uh, brought her out for a bit of company get her out of the house away from the kids uh, she gets tortured bless her <laughs> so that's what I was here it was back in beginning of April and I took a lovely shot of the Ryan constellation I've got Bernard loop in and uh, you can also see the rosette nebula and that what I loved most about the image was the clouds believe it or not <laughs> Um, probably one of the few occasions that I actually didn't mind the clouds being there and that's because they had this lovely red colour in them and I think this was due to the sunlight was still coming over the horizon and bounced off the clouds. Quite a lucky shot, um, I wasn't expecting it at all, uh, so yeah. But I'm after the same type of composition to be honest, looking over this lovely re reservoir with the hills in the background and hopefully we've got the shot of the Milky Way behind their mills somewhere. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm going to take this little pooch for a little walk and I'll talk a little bit more when I want to get back to the car. Come on. Oh, nice comfy chair. Cup of tea. And um, may I say, it, a lovely sunset. Gorgeous. So, last time I was here, uh, I saw a plan tonight. Oh, it is a little overdue. Uh, I do think I've missed the boat on the best time in this location to capture our galaxy. Um, but nevertheless, I do think I'm still going to capture something. Um, something nice. Uh, but like anything in my little astrophotography adventures, uh, we shall see. <laughs> um, I'm just quite happy to get out, you know, and actually capture something. And hopefully the weather will stay clear. And I have to say, I'm seeing pretty much nothing but blue skies, few clouds at the, up the hills there, but something like, uh, something like the forecasts are holding true. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish my cup of tea, yeah? enjoy this sunset maybe, or part of it anyway, just enjoy the view mainly, set up and I suppose I'll take you through all the equipment I'm going to be using tonight and perhaps some of the settings. from Port Enlightenment, uh, which I don't think is going to be that long uh, away, to be honest. Uh, the 
light has dramatically dropped as you can probably see and also the temperature my looks are getting cold that's what happens when you've got big looks so the equipment i'm going to be using my star tracker mount now with milky way photography you don't actually have to use a star tracker mount i just prefer to i'm going to do some maybe two to three minute exposures and really soak in that uh, light over a longer period of time. I'm gonna drop the ISO right down. With a static, you, you're gonna have to bring them exposures down, to, um, but you're gonna have to bump the ISO right up, which introduces noise. So um, I'm sort of toying on this. I've done it a few occasions. Um, it has worked out in the past, but again, we'll see. The camera I'm using is my modified Canon 77D. You don't need a modified DSLR to be honest. I just prefer to use this. And the Canon I'm using is a 16 35mm EF lens from Canon. Now I'm going to set this at 16mm, but if I'm not happy with the composition, I am going to maybe swap the lenses around the one I've got on the camera that I'm filming with. It's a 10 to 18mm lens, so I might utilize the 10mm. Again, we'll see how I feel when it comes to it. Got some uh, people camping out. Why not? It's a lovely area. So, uh, so we're just going to wait for so I can pull the line and we'll go from there. I'll catch up with you in a bit. All right, so I'll let you know how this is going. <laughs> well, this is the last uh, test exposure that I took. My entire ISO 800 and it's 180 seconds tracked exposure. And you can see I've caught some of the Milky Way. I saw some cloud there. I wasn't happy with this composition, so. I've done exactly what I said I might do. I've swapped my lenses over to the 10 to 18 millimeter lens so I get a nice wide shot. This is taking at 16 millimeters. However, you know, when I've swapped them over, um, the clouds have really rolled in. And when I say they have rolled in, I mean, I can't see a star, not one star. It's that clogged up. Despite the all around clear weather forecast. So, <laughs> I apologise in advance if I'm feeling a bit uh, not as upbeat as I usually am. Yeah, I've knocked it on the head. You know, it's just it's not clearing up. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm I'm finding it hard to stay optimistic. Um, it's, uh, it's not great. All right, so I am well rested. <laughs> Another night. I'm on my way back up the Cow Green Reservoir. I'm going to give this another go. I'm not going to let beat us. I'm going to be upbeat about all this. So I was really looking forward to a lovely clear night and yeah, yet again, it's just pure disappointment. Uh, and it's just setback after setback. So I think, I think it got on top of me last night. I had enough. <laughs> but yeah, you know, we're going back out. Uh, the weather forecast is uncertain for tonight. Do you know what? I don't actually care. Uh, I'm just going to see how it goes and take a gamble. The images that I did get, they were just too early on in the night. I think if the weather had held off another hour, uh, it would have been a bit better. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I suppose I'll just catch up with you when I get up there. I'm going to just set up and take a few of the few things that I should have talked about last night. Things have changed from last night, so I'm no longer using my 16 to 35 millimeter EF lens. I've swapped that round, and I'm now going to be using my 10 to 18 millimeter EFS lens. Now, the problem with this is, you know, if I'm using my EFS lens, it adds a little bit extra on the back of the lens where it fits into the recess of the crop sensor DSLR. Now, because of that, you can actually use a light pollution filter with these camera lenses uh, but I don't think it's going to be much of an issue to be honest it's uh, we're in a bottle three it's a higher end of a bottle three scale and the settings I am uh, gonna go I'm gonna slightly change it I'm gonna drop the exposures down slightly and bring the ISO up to 16 or maybe 3 200 again I'm just gonna see how that goes do a few test exposures if I get the chance because I've put this lighter lens on uh, the Count balance has gone slightly out. Now last night I was using my count weight and it was right up as far as it could go on the rod here and it seemed to be just right. 
I've put this light lens on and I can't use the counterweight. So what I've done is I've used the counterweight rod from my EQ6 uh, Pro, the extension rod. I've just taped that on and it seems to be doing quite a good job, to be honest. Nicely balanced. I could just put it on this adapter here and it just fits on where this L bracket is here. Um, I don't like to use it. Um, reason being is once you pull the line that's it you, you put this on you can check if you want to check your pull line just say you're not sure you just give it your tripod a knock you're gonna have to take everything back off this is the reason why i use the l bracket because with this on i can constantly check all my my pull alignment if i'm not sure about it and i don't have to take the equipment off that's all the reason behind that but lastly i'm just going to mention the tripod now you've most likely seen this tripod in previous videos you could argue it's a little overkill but i like to use it it's personal preference again that's uh the few things that I've got to mention last night, I suppose just round two, wait for the stars to come out, if they're going to come out, I'm not going to let it worry me, I'm just going to stay upbeat and just let the night run its course I suppose. Hello Poochie. Alright so, oh. tonight went a lot better than last night, I can tell you that, uh, what time are we on? Oh, uh, it's just coming to uh, roughly half four. So by the time I get finished up here, it's probably looking about roughly half five, quarter to six. I'm going to get home. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it's worth it. Well, uh, what a roller coaster of a weekend. Very uncertain. So, first night, all the data was a write off basically. I couldn't work with anything really, to be honest. And even that last uh, test image that looked pretty decent on the uh, view screen of the camera a uh, closer review of that it was just absolutely, absolutely rubbish um, yeah so I got rid of that however the least likely of nights the second night turned out to be I thought quite a triumph the I got a Milky Way image um, processed I had a little drama with I don't know if it was mist or low line cloud or some sort over the hills did mess with the image a little bit but um, I was I was happy with it um, I, put a stacked image together uh, so I'll be sharing that and also a surprise image uh, midway through the session I changed my lenses to the 50mm uh, uh, prime Canon lens uh, I think nicknamed uh, Nifty 50 and I pointed the camera to the Constellation Cygnus and yeah I was quite blown away with the results just point to note the stars uh, it's like these eight point diffraction spikes i don't know why they're there i'm going to do some research on that but i thought they looked pretty awesome and i was quite blown away with what i got um so i was all together so uh yeah if you're still watching at this point thank you very much for sticking around i hope you enjoyed the video uh if you're going to take anything away from it i would say you know just stay optimistic maybe take a few gambles you never know they might pay off like it did for me on the second night so on that note, please take care everyone, watch out for the next video where I'm going to be processing that note.